If the old is going to be stopped, there must be healthy disconnections. That means that I must cut the umbilical cord that is no longer needed, that is attaching me to things that are detrimental to my spiritual growth and development. There must be healthy disconnections. Why? Because there are so many things that we become very stable with. And just because we become comfortable and stable with those things doesn't mean that they're good for us. Are y'all hearing me? Huh? Just because it's good doesn't mean that it's good for us. Just because I like it doesn't mean that it's good for us. So what are healthy disconnections? Anything that is going to make me live beneath my purpose. Anything that's going to discourage me from being the great person that God wants me to be. And living out what God has designed for my life. There are some people that are in your life that don't want to see you make it. That don't want to see you happy. That don't want to see you succeed and move forward. I have to disconnect myself from those things that watch this and how I view healthiness may not be the same way that somebody else views healthiness. I said healthy disconnections because no one knows like you do what's necessary for your life. Because <clears throat> Jeff, people will have an opinion on what you should do instead of you realizing what you need to do for yourself. If it was me, that's the key word, those are the key words. If it was me, this is what I'd do. If I were in your, the, the factor is you're not me and you're not in my shoes. So it doesn't mean that you know what I need to do. So you need to have healthy disconnections. Everybody say healthy disconnections. 